I got him. Damn. Damn. Just Didn't oh, yeah, right. the trailer. That's what got him. Yeah. Trailer hook is what got him. I told y'all yeah. in the last video that I'll be having him on this one. He told my brand new spinner bait all two pieces. What's the I ain't gonna weigh him right now. Cause sometimes you feel like they're here. That's like that one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> shit. <laughs> you get the old net. He's coming to me. Oh, he's coming to you. He's coming. Oh, 
Oh, God. Hey, look at him. He's on flopperoo in there. <laughs> Damn. What's it feel like to catch a fish? I'll let you really own it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I literally just said, I hate this because I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. He's probably a pound and a half. Number two ski, you got the trailer hook too. What do you think? Hmm. He, he ate that one. Whoa, buddy. It's funny how they get smaller as you hold them out the water for a bit. <laughs> There's number four, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't got a big limit. We got darn we get a limit. Oh, we got one more, right? Yeah, that makes five. Where I come from, that's five. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can count. Count over there. Oh, this is a bash. I found this school right here, dude. I threw it right on them and the bass was chasing it right up the boat.
do. We must say pounds. some big ones down here. Thunder was, you know what I mean? Because he wasn't a fight. Alright guys, well that's the end of day one. Me and Chris had 10-10. Um, we're sitting in fourth right now. It's actually, I guess some of the guys didn't catch them, but a lot of guys did catch them. So uh, a lot of the guys above us, they caught them pretty good. So I think it was like 16 pounds and something's leading it. And then two 15 pound bags. We're gonna have to really catch them tomorrow. We're going to Liesl, so it's a whole different lake. The lake I was, uh, was just looking at the water levels have really fluctuated a lot in the last couple of hours. <laughs> Uh, they drop it really bad during the day, but like at night it comes up really high. And then by the time we get out from the lake, it's about at the lowest point it's going to be for that after for that day, I guess. Uh, maybe fluctuate a little bit through the day, but so water levels should be stable while we're out there fishing. Just kind of looking at the graph. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how it's going to be. Leesville can be a really tough term or lake. You guys have seen like I've had some good days of there just fishing, and I've had some really bad days of free fishing. So. Um, I don't know. We're going to hope, hopefully we can go get us a little something and figure it out. So, all right, guys. Well, I'll see you guys in the day two video. 
I'm not sure how we're doing this, if this is going to be a, a one part or two part. So you'll see after this video ends if it's going to go into the next one. I'm just not sure how long it's all going to be with everything going on. So also big congratulations to James too because uh, right now he is, I don't want to spoil it, he's sitting pretty good in a tournament. So uh, I'm going to go into his day two with a chance. So um, one objective team, we're trying to, we're trying to cash some checks tomorrow. So we'll talk to you guys in the morning.